When we let our gaze wander up to the sky, we can observe the most breathtaking structures there. Fascinating cloud formations, glittering stars, and the moon are just a few of countless structures that leave us agape again and again. However, there is one thing that has always successfully hidden itself from our view, even though it completely permeates and surrounds our planet, the Earth's magnetic field. What role this complex, invisible structure plays on our blue home planet, and when the Earth's magnetic field could become a real threat, we now reveal to you. Want to learn more about the most amazing objects and exciting discoveries in the universe on a regular basis? Then subscribe to Simply Space and activate the bell to never miss one of our videos again. Feel free to show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with our content. Earth's Magnetic Field If we turn back the wheel of time by more than 2,000 years, we find ourselves in an era when mankind probably first became aware of the Earth's magnetic field. At that time, the Chinese and Mongols realized that pieces of magnetic ironstone began to rotate in a north-south direction again and again, as if by magic. Although not yet clear about what caused this particular characteristic, scholars used this knowledge gained to build the first magnetic compasses. In time, this revolutionary invention spilled over to the European continent, where it paved the way for shipping to enter a new chapter of prosperity. In the Middle Ages, magnetic compasses would eventually also be used in mining, where they served as an important surveying instrument from then on. Despite this groundbreaking achievement, however, one central question remained unanswered. What is the circumstance that causes the compass needle to always point in a north-south direction? The British natural philosophy philosopher William Gilbert is considered the first person to provide an insightful answer to this pressing question. Within his work, De Magnete, which was published in 1600, he put forward the thesis that it is the Earth itself which is responsible for the typical orientation of the compass needle. Ultimately, in the 19th century, the German mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss succeeded in significantly deepening this assumption by proposing a theory that the all-encompassing magnetic field is created inside our blue home planet. Planet. He also recognized the need for simultaneous global measurements to localize the causes of the recorded fluctuations and thus gather important information regarding the static field. Thus, a worldwide network of geophysical observatories was established to study the Earth's magnetic field in detail. Today, more than 200 institutions participate in this specific research. In the meantime, the data obtained are supplemented by the information provided by magnetometers attached to satellites. Although the findings allow important conclusions to be drawn about the characteristics of the Earth's magnetic field, they alone cannot explain its origin and formation. This breakthrough was to be achieved only in the course of countless theoretical investigations, which ultimately led to the now generally accepted dynamo theory. How did the magnetic field of the Earth originate? The aforementioned thesis is based on the structure of the Earth's interior, which is considered secured. According to this, the inner solid core, which consists almost of pure iron, is enclosed by a liquid, strongly iron-containing layer. Typically, this liquid in the Earth's interior has electrically conductive properties. It's estimated that the Earth's core has an intrinsic temperature of over 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit, making it about as warm as the scorching hot surface of the sun. Since the iron and nickel contained there are not magnetizable under these circumstances, they serve as electrical conductors. Another central aspect of the dynamo theory is the assumption that matter moves in the Earth's core, primarily in the context of convection. This refers to currents of liquid substances which rise into the less hot areas further out, cool down there, and then sink back down again. Due to the Coriolis force, which is generated by the rotational motion of the planet, the convection currents in the Earth's interior are in turn directed along helical paths. Within these helical movements, the dynamo theory now describes a current generation by the electrically conductive matter. These substances, moving in an already existing but very weak magnetic field, thus generate an induction current, which is amplified by positive feedback and finally reaches an approximately stable state. Experts believe that these movements in the Earth's liquid core occur at a rate of a few millimeters per second, traveling about 60 miles per year. 
This geodynamo in the Earth's core generates about 95% of the Earth's magnetic field. The remaining portion is created by magnetized rocks, ocean currents, and sources outside the planet. But why is this invisible structure so important for the Earth? The planet's protective shield one way to think of the Earth's magnetic field is as a kind of invisible protective shield. Accordingly, it acts as an effective protective mechanism against solar wind and dangerous cosmic rays. In detail, the charged particles heading towards our home planet are deflected along the magnetic field lines around the Earth. Only at the polar regions can the particle showers come increasingly close to our planet. This process is also visible to our human eye and manifests itself in one of the most beautiful natural spectacles that we find on Earth, the colorful auroras. More precisely, the dancing light phenomena are caused by the interaction between the incident particles and the upper layers of the Earth's atmosphere. If the Earth had not possessed this natural, invisible protective shield, higher life would probably never have been able to develop on the planet. According to our current knowledge, only some microbes are resistant to the high-energy particle showers. However, since we may enjoy the existing Earth magnetic field, some living beings have developed certain characteristics in the course of their existence, which are closely interwoven with the Earth's magnetic field. Thus, the so-called magnetic sense allows certain animals, including bees, migratory birds, sharks, and turtles to use the magnetic field for spatial orientation. Even dogs prefer to do their business in a north-south direction. In addition, there is the thesis that there is a close connection between the earthly climate and the magnetic field. Some researchers who reject the theory of man-made global warming see the real reason for the rapidly accelerating climate change in the variations of the Earth's magnetic field. Some experiments suggest that there is indeed a connection between the incidence of cosmic rays and cloud formation. However, most experts agree that this mechanism is far too weak to significantly change the climate on our planet. Is the Earth's magnetic field dangerous? The idea that the Earth's magnetic field is a static, unchanging entity could not be further from reality. In fact, we now know that the Earth's magnetic field has completely reversed polarity several times in the course of its history. Thus, the magnetic North Pole became the South Pole and vice versa. While in some cases the completed pole reversal lasted for many millions of years, in other cases the magnetic field jumped back to its previous polarity after only a few centuries. These short-lived reversals of polarity are called excursions among experts. The last magnetic excursion occurred an estimated 42,000 years ago. The temporary polarity reversal that occurred at that time lasted for a period of 800 years. At the same time, the magnetic field strength lost a large part of its previous intensity and showed only 28% of its original value. A central question has always been on the minds of experts. What are the consequences of this chaotic reorientation of the Earth's magnetic field for the planet and its inhabitants? Fortunately, a team led by Alan Cooper of the South Australia Museum in Adelaide came across a millennia-old artifact that helped them get to the bottom of this urgent question. Specifically, in a wetland in northern New Zealand, the researchers came across the remains of several cowrie trees that had grown during the pole reversal phase. With the help of isotopic evidence extracted from the tissue of a tree trunk, the scientists were able to draw a revealing picture. The experts realized that the Earth's atmosphere began to change more than 800 years before the actual reversal of polarity. During this period, the magnetic field also dropped to alarming levels, with significant consequences for the Earth's climate climate and environmental conditions. Since the cosmic radiation was able to fall on our planet almost unfiltered, the protective ozone layer was also significantly thinned out. The incoming radiation tore apart the oxygen molecules in the atmosphere, separating electrons and causing light emissions. It's likely that the charged particles left severe damage in the ozone layer. Combined with Earth's weakened magnetic field, auroras likely appeared across the globe. By the same token, these processes in the atmosphere caused a change in large-scale air currents and global climate. The intensified ultraviolet radiation significantly cooled the climate in the temperate latitudes of the southern hemisphere, such as Australia. At the same time, glaciers in the northern regions of the world began to advance. According to researchers, these changes in external conditions may also have been closely linked to some upheavals within the animal kingdom and human evolution. For example, our ancient ancestors in Southeast Asia and Europe began to increasingly retreat into caves, 
The extinction of the Neanderthals also fell during the corresponding time period. At the same time, in Australia, the megafauna disappeared. In other words, those animals that represent the largest organisms in their natural habitat. It's uncertain which backgrounds underlie such rapid polarity reversals and when the next magnetic excursion will take place. What is certain is that such events are associated with drastic consequences for the planet and its inhabitants. Now it's your turn. What do you think about today's video? We're already curious about your comments. Do you want to see more videos about space? Then click on one of the thumbnails in the credits to get some more content from our channel. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.